Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Lies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. To persuade viewers that he is not the a asterisk asterisk hole that his wives believe him to be, Cody Brown may be employing reverse psychology. It appears that Cody's plan involves confounding and controlling his wife. Is he acting indifferent to keep them on their toes? Cody lacks the complexity of the devil described by Mick Jagger in the Rolling Stones' Sympathy for the Devil, but Cody faces a variety of special difficulties because he has 18 children. Although Cody Brown of Sister Wise compares himself to a devil, he might be employing reverse psychology to persuade viewers that he is not the a asterisk asterisk hole that Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown believe him to be. Mick Jagger plays Satan in the Rolling Stones' song Sympathy for the Devil, attracting and repelling the listener at the same time. Cody might be doing the same. Despite lacking the song's bloodthirsty lead's joyfully cruel allure, Sister Wives season 18 celebrity Cody does share some traits with the false prophet and the beast from the sea, as per Revelations 13-4. Cody is firmly embracing the villain character in season 18, Perhaps he is sick of trying to appease a group of whiny women. Cody doesn't appear to know what he wants in Sister Wives season 18. He might be deceiving his wives and his ex, Christine, though. What's puzzling you is the essence of my game. Mick, as Satan, sings in sympathy for the devil. Robin Brown of Sister Wives, who serves as Cody's queen, is now unsure of his identity. He seems to have changed— yet he might be acting emotional intentionally to upset everyone. He's keeping the women in his life guessing by adopting a more erratic, moody, and unexpected vibe. His satanic anger is directed at Janelle in season 18. He mockingly refers to this patient spouse as the Teflon Queen because she is trying to make ends meet but hawking dubious plexus nutritional supplements while he and Robin live rich. He fully expects Janelle to take care of their children while taking care of all of his issues. Although his feeble attempts to copy them have so far failed, did he really mean it? Therison Brown, Savannah, and Gabriel disagree. Satan's job is to deceive and lie in order to perplex the world. He usually impresses his marks with his smooth charisma to acquire results. While Cody's appeal isn't as strong as it once was, he used to be all about bright grins and purported devotion to the dubious polygamist ideal. The devil Cody is really only concerned with himself. He has always feigned that he doesn't want Robin at all. Satan is, of course, the master scam artist. Is Cody stealing for the devil's amusement? Is it all just magic tricks? Cody seems to be engaged in a long-standing game. He actually wins the game by losing three wives, which occurs off-screen, after Sister Wives season 18. In any case, he doesn't really want those women. He might miss Janelle a little bit if they were still together, but they were more like bros than actual lovers. How could she ever feel satisfied by being one of the boys? Janelle and the other ex-partners get the leftovers, while Robin experiences cringe-inducing romantic tension with Cody. Cody's malicious game has caused casualties. The devil in Mick's story is a man of wealth and taste. He's a smart guy who uses sophistication and intelligence to get his way. Then there is Cody, who enjoys testosterone Tuesdays, white sports vehicles resembling Barbie and Raymond Hare. Cody isn't exactly an intelligent person, therefore the sympathy for the devil Satan has the upper hand in this situation. Cody is simply unable to match that level of international finesse. Regarding wealth, rumors abound that Cody is living beyond his means. It's different for Cody compared to Mick's devil, who could undoubtedly deceive the innocent in ways that genuinely lined his pockets, making all kinds of decadence possible. According to reports, he earns money but wastes it. Although there isn't any hard evidence that Cody is in debt, his own daughter Gwendolyn Brown has charged him with extravagant spending. Therefore, Mix Satan defeats Cody once more equally. In Cody's defense, or sympathy for the devil, he does have 18 children. He still has a lot of wives in season 18 of Sister Wives. 
That entails costs akin to the Duggars that are beyond the comprehension of the common person. Even though several of his children are now adults and self-sufficient, he has undoubtedly spent a lot of money over the years on them. Cody certainly merits a few pleasures. He does offer himself up constantly. He receives an astounding amount of animosity as a result. The problem is that he appears to be living comfortably while the wise he isn't drawn to suffer. The scenario is wicked in this regard. Satan of the Rolling Stones said that it was time for a change, and all hell broke loose. He was referring to the Russian Revolution, during which the Grand Duchess Anastasia, daughter of the murdered Tsar Nicholas V, screamed in vain. While revolution is a revolting process that almost always results in brutal carnage, it is occasionally essential. In the past, a revolution was frequently the only method to fix heinous wrongs in a society. The Brown family was overdue for a revolution. Christine started a revolution that was luckily free of gunfire and guillotine use after she became weary of Cody's pranks and bailed out. That does not imply that it was painless, either. Now, Cody is attempting to appear more kind by equating himself to a wick demon lord, who is also known as the Ancient Serpent, in accordance with Revelations 20-2. It's reverse psychology since, after all, he can't be that horrible. While Cody has harmed three of his spouses and appears to be making Robin's life difficult as well, he still wants courtesy. Does he really merit that much thought? He gave in to temptation and gave in. He could have treated each wife equally, but his knee for Robin was too strong. He gave himself to Robin without being able to stop, figuring his other spouses would just have to put up with it. This was a serious error that led to the Brown family's final dissolution. He couldn't hide his love for Robin, although he still makes an effort to do so in the current season. Nobody is duped. Throughout sympathy for the devil, Satan makes threats. Use all of your cultivated politeness, he warns, or I'll squander your souls. Cody also wants his wives to follow orders. After all, that is what patriarchy is all about. That male-dominated system crumbles when the women quit following directions. Although Cody's tirade about sacred loneliness was intended to make him sound sympathetic, it instead served to highlight how misogynistic he is. He thinks women in numerous marriages should be made to suffer subtly. They must endure years of utter pain, sadness, and rejection without sobbing, shouting, or otherwise raising a fuss. That asks too much of a woman, in my opinion. What woman possibly live up to that bizarre, chauvinistic guide for living? Archangels overcame Satan, so perhaps they will also bring down the patriarch with the help of Cody's angels. They took care of him for years, whether it was by providing for the family financially, by caring for the kids, or by simply soothing his frail ego. They're furious right now. As the new season progresses, Cody must deal with his wife's completely unexpected violence. Janelle's profanity in season 18 of Sister Wives, she is putting sacred solitude in the background, where it belongs. Cody is having self-doubts due to her rage. Even while it looks to be hurting him, he might well be a diabolical character out for the long haul. He professed to being sick of polygamy, thus his escaping wives might be working to his advantage. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel, and don't miss any update.